which is pretty much pretty much done firm down the ceiling this room wasn't level either I guess so you had to rip some at different thicknesses it's been quite a job anyway I was trying to lay out this island placement and figure out where the ducting for the hood was gonna go in last night this layout right here that's my countertop of the island I gave myself 42 inches here apparently that's the minimum you want to leave if you got the room and I got 48 over here between the red line which is the countertop 48 <clears throat> center of the range is right here and there's the hood hanging down 30 inches down from the ceiling that's about it's going to end up being about 65 inches now if Patty's standing here working worried about her hitting her head on that if we got a tall person yeah that's probably going to have to move back some which then in turn messes up my duct work I got a 16 by 5 or an 8 inch round Actually, I can go with a 12 by 5 probably. But then I barely got 5 inches to get up through here. And the truss is in the way. And if I move the island this way, then I can sneak up in that hole. There's a lot to think about there. And then the other big thing is the triangle. We got 11 feet between the fridge and the freezer and the sink. And you're supposed to have no more than nine feet on any leg of your triangle and no more than 25 feet between the three legs. So we got the fridge and the freezer, the range and the sink over there. So what I'm thinking is this wall oven probably is going to be the least used certainly a lot less used than the fridge and the freezer which are right here so i think we really need to swap the wall oven down to that end and that'll move the fridge and the freezer 30 inches back this way and shorten up our triangle our work triangle and the island if it moves that way to widen up this 42 inch aisle here then I'm not going to be able to put the vent here which means the whole island has to move out this way nine inches to hit this hole for my vent last night I got the uh, the heat runs for the first floor and the second floor tore out and recut the first floor one comes off over here and it's pointing that way it's just going to kick out the toe kick of the island right on my window here and then the second floor one they got to crisscross each other that one's going to head over here i chopped a hole last night you can see it right there for an oval to go through that triple two by twelve so I got my first floor on the, the return rather than leave it in the floor because this is our overhang of the island on two sides here. There'll be chairs and stuff. Probably don't want to return in the floor. So I'm going to have to bring that down and cut through this eye joist right here and get it up into the toe kick right here somewhere. So everything's planned out, kind of. I just got to figure out the hood placement. That's probably, that hood probably needs to be back from the front of this island by at least three inches so a tall person doesn't actually, if I'm right up against the island, yeah, if you were tall, 
that would be right in your face. So that thing's probably got to go back about six inches into the island now that I'm looking at it. Which would mean I probably don't have to move the island that way as far if I'm going to set the hood back a little bit further. So I got to figure that all out tonight when I get home. Feel a lot better now that I kind of got got a grip on this. A little stressful. I hate waking up worrying about something. Let's see if I move that this way. That's the other thing I had planned on moving the island that way a little bit. So the hood's not hanging in front of the window like that, but then we lose this valuable real estate over here. 